Ladies and gentlemen, I want to humbly at this point pay a special tribute to the General Secretary, Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumilavi. As you may be aware, this council meeting marks the last Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumilabi will be attending in his official capacity as General Secretary. It marks the end of his second five-year tenure as a General Secretary. You agree with me that he has served selflessly and faithfully in the last 10 years. My brother, please come. Shall we put our hands together for the Lord? God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's my good brother. He has been he has been of great help to me. Yeah. See, people like us who do not know anything. When the Lord places you in a position, He brings people like this around you so they will cover your nakedness. Yeah. Apostle, as you carry on this noble ministry in a different capacity, may the Lord who you have so faithfully served, bless you and give you much more grace. Dearly beloved, in this meeting, our brother, Apostle Osman Zabri, who has served the Francophone block on the Executive Council for 15 years, will be reviewed. Osman, please be upstanding. That is a great man of God. 15 years of meritorious service for the Church of Pentecost. God bless you. He will be reviewed. His distinguished service to God and the Church of Pentecost is sincerely appreciated. In this same vein, Apostle Dr. Daniel Ochiwaka, Apostle S.Y. Enki, Prophet David Kankamberito will also bring their terms to an end. Shall we please have them stand? My brothers, God bless you so much. Dan. God bless you. Bedito is the most popular name in the whole Church of Pentecost. <laughs> they have indeed contributed their quota to the cause of the church. One of the major items on the agenda in these meetings will be an election to effectively replace them. I also extend my heartfelt gratitude to all area and national heads, ministry directors, all other ministers, trustees, chairpersons, and members of boards and committees for your selfless and commitment to duty. The management and staff of the headquarters and the various administrative areas of the church are also highly appreciated for their commitment to duty not forgetting the gallant officers and the entire membership of the church for their love and loyalty to the cause and the vision of the church. I say I equal to you all for your unwavering support in bringing the Church of Pentecost this far. God is not unjust. He will not forget your work and the love you have shown him as you have helped his people and continue to help them. May the Lord reward you abundantly. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, God continues to raise certain people in and outside the church who, out of deep love for God and the church, generously support the church's work in various ways. Now, retirement of ministers, Ghana and external missions. After years of serving the Lord and the church, some of our ministers will be retiring from active service this year. It is my singular honor to present them as follows. The first on the list is F, our former chairman, 
He served the church and is on record as the youngest chairman ever. With his whole heart, he has been a great inspiration for us. Even in his condition, he still be writing books for the church with one finger. It's no other person than Apostle Dr. Michael Kovnain to me. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. He has preserved his life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He served for 39 years. May I respectfully ask that you bring a revered former chairman up stage. Shall we put our hands together for our dear? Please let the Mama Mata please join. Now we are going to call the retired ministers. And once you hear your name, you come with your, your spouse. We want to wait for him. As for this man, we, we have to wait for him. Let's put our hands together. The Lord has been gracious to him and to all of us. Let's wait for him. <laughs> and let some of the big men, strong men, go and carry him. Yeah. Go and, go and carry his wheelchair and lift him and bring him to us. Yeah. Yeah, the strong men, the strong pastors, please. He's finding it difficult to navigate at the corner. Are you there? Just aid him. Will he be able to come? Let's carry it. Let's help the wheelchair come up. Let's wait for him. <laughs> Let's put our hands together for our revered. Let's put our hands together for him. Almost here. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Hey! 
To God be the glory. Amen. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. To him and to him alone. Hallelujah. Amen. To all the chairmen under whom I served as a minister. To the memory of Chairman Safo. To the memory of Chairman Eboa. To the glory an honor of Apostle Professor Opoku Nina and to the honor and distinguished gratitude of our current chairman, Apostle Eric Nyamiche, to all ministers of the church and to you all counselors, and to the millions of the entire membership of the Church of Pentecost. Amen. Amen. Shall we continue to do it for him? I'll call the rest to join. Our revered chairman, dear Lord, you have granted us grace to see what you have done. Looking back to the days of our fathers, looking back and considering what was once said about the church, that these people can only pray. Nothing else they can do. When our founder was often ridiculed as saying, if you are not opening schools, building hospitals, then what are you doing in the Gold Coast? Your servant replied, I'm preaching the gospel. I'm winning the lost. And one day, these people are going to build the schools, the universities. They are going to establish the hospitals. They are going to train people. And Father, we are witnesses. About 80 years now, we see, we behold, we count. And people have recognized. And so this afternoon, on behalf of the entire church, we come before you, O oh Lord, with our sacrifices of praise to say thank you, Lord. For surely, this is not the doing of man. It is your doing. By the power of your right hand, Father, we thank you. Church of Pentecost says, thank you. Amen. Our fathers, your gallant ministers, standing here before you, say, thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We do know, O oh God, that this is not the final stop. As we spear forth your word, into the nations as you covenanted with our church that you're going to use the church as a spearhead to reach nations we recognize oh God that over 150 nations being penetrated by the church at this time oh Lord 
we pray that the remaining 90, uh, 54 countries will be given to us. And where we are, we will continue to impact and possess them for your glory. So continue to bless and lead our fathers, the chairman and his executive council. Continue to bless and equip the ministers, the missionaries, the area heads. Continue to bless and prosper the members of the church, the business people. So, oh God, you equip them and provide them with the finances that we can possess the rest of the world to your glory. We thank you, Father, for answered prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.